Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're installing a drainage system that actually runs off of the garage behind this house. Driveway slants all the way to the back, pours across into the neighbor's property. What we're doing is we're putting a sump pump in the very back corner, hooking up the downspouts, gravel perforated pipe, runs into the sump pump, and we're going to discharge it right out here to the street. So what I'm doing is out front, cutting the sod, cutting the sod, and trenching on out to the street. So when you're cutting sod, if it's weak sod, you can usually just take your shovel and just make an edge. Try to keep your line straight. Other side, remember it's gonna be a shovel wide, so make sure it's wide enough Make sure it's wide enough that you can put your shovel down in your trench. Take off about a one foot section. You don't want to go too deep. Get it down underneath, slide it up, and flip it onto one side of your trench. This way you can come back and put your dirt on the other side of your trench. Then when you put your sod back, it will come back and hopefully it looks really good. Then after you dig backwards for a few feet, come back and scrape it out, clean it out. So remember, when digging in weak sod, you can still have a good cleanup. Notice we've got all the sod put back. It looks great. This system is going to last for many, many years. And it's the system that we're concerned about. But we do try, of course, to make things look good. We've got to adapt from the channel drain to inch and a half. We've got this lanai downspout that comes down. And we have the house downspout that comes down. You can see what someone had done. Can you see this is perforated? You see the, the holes in there? And it goes down into the ground. It just goes nowhere. And that's why you can see all this water. There's no way that the drywall works, especially in Florida. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said this, but it just doesn't work. And more than likely, the irrigation guy did this, um, trying to help out the homeowner. but. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. So, we're going to go ahead and plumb all this together. And it's just a fun, fun little install. So, with a little bit of work, you can get this to get together. <laughs> Let's go over it. We've got channel drain coming out. Inch and a half pipe comes over. And we cord straight down into the corrugated. We've got the, the, the lanai downspout coming down. It comes in. And this is all going over to the sump basin. We've got inch and a half pipe. We had to come around this uh, post where they've got the concrete. This was the real problem here. But you know, it's just something that you have to do. And I can see the pump just kicked on and it's coming down through the line and it's discharging out at the end. It's working really good. So you can see how that pump kicks on. It just pumps all that water right out of that basin. We just have the garden hose in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some gravel around here because this is not a watertight fitting. It's not supposed to be, but we'll pour some gravel around here to help some of the water that does not come down from the channel drain. If it doesn't get into this pipe, it'll just perk down into the ground. <clears throat> and tighten this up a little bit, secure these with screws, and we're ready to backfill this area. So yeah, I mean, this is something you guys can do and it's not hard, but it is when it's hot and it's sweaty and you're in a tight little space like this, it makes things you know a little bit more difficult. But I promise you that you can do this. Just take your time and you'll get it right. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, 
I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.